Awesome, man. The following first round match of the 2019 Tepani Invitational is one fall. <laughs> Introducing first, weighing in this evening at 170 pounds, from Mount Hope, West Virginia, international superstar, The Gift, Jason! Weighing in this evening at 155 pounds from Bloomington, Indiana. He is a former IWA Junior Heavyweight Champion, the Ring Wizard, Sage Phillips! Here we go, be not a first time meeting by any means, but a first time one on one. And this is one of the times where the competitor actually, one of the competitors actually got to pick his first run up. Right, and Kincaid picked this. Yes. First ever TPI for both men. Yes, if I'm not mistaken, um, this is not, uh, this, of course, this is not the, the first foray to either man in the tournament situations. Right, right. But um, if I'm not mistaken, I think the, the uh, uh, I, I, could, I have to look it up, but one of the uh, Ring of Honor Young Prospect tournaments. Yeah, top prospect, yes. Yes, top prospect tournaments. And uh, Sage Phillips won the Young Guns tournament a couple years ago. Yes, they bought, so, you know, that. Uh, but Kincaid was in that. Was right, in right, right. Ring of Honor. I didn't know that till recently. I had no idea, and I was like, oh, and he, he was in there the same year that oh, um, Rose threw. That Leo Rush was, whatever yes. year that was. I can look it up, but I'm sure somebody will tell us and go, stupid, it was 2010, dummy. It was 2014. Oh, 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 up and over. Very unorthodox offense. Oh, going for the head scissors. Oh, but he able to counter it. Nips up. These guys. Arm drag, he oh, holds on to the wrist. Both these guys are, are you want to talk about that catch as catch can Matt right. style wrestling both these boys I mean don't get me wrong Jessica Kincaid has been doing it a lot longer but the last year leaps and bounds for Sage Phillips right um, a very good friend of mine who will go watch his wrestling all over the world from Japan to Chicago to California he told me that the person one of the people he was most impressed with when he came down to be in Mid-South last week was Sage Phillips right and that was surprising to me I'm here every week I guess when you get that fresh set of eyes, right, right. that happens sometimes. See, look, and Jason just hands behind the back staring. Kate always talks about it 16 years, 17 years that he's wanted to be in TPI. He was watching it yes. on uh, JV Insanity's bedroom floor, watching VHS tapes. Yes. And uh, he was wanted to be in TPI for so long, and finally got his opportunity this year. And Sage Phillips, you know, has been in IWA Mitsa for three years. His his opportunity came from a pick your poison match. Yes. So he didn't even get an official invite. He had to make his own invite. But both men first TPIs here tonight. Oh, oh bridging, but yep, that is a, you can tell by just oh oh. It. oh. Kincaid sucking him into that scissors. one. Scrunching on that body scissors. He's able to break the heels on that one, tucks the feet under. What's he going to go for here? Rolls him. Oh, oh. Oh, oh we've oh, seen this before. Look at that. From punch. the book of Punk Hero. Headstand with the le legs grapevined here. Look at him staring each other in the face. War of attrition here. Oh, knuckle. Oh. Bump. Sean. Oh, Sean. Bump. Sean was like, let's, let's get. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, look, you can look. you can never win no, if you just stay tied up like that. Yeah. Look now, Sage, both of them stretch. Look, Sage stretching them out, and you know what? Sage has. That's the one thing Sage does have on on his side is youth, where Jessica Kate has experience. Right. Absolutely. That, you know, some people say, "Hey, which would you rather be? Would you rather be the young guy there?" That's, you know. But you know what? Uh, how many times have you sent Jessica Kincaid's tank on empty? Since he's been out of IWA Mid-South, right. I'm up to go with zero. Right, absolutely. I mean, I, we've never... You guys think this guy made his IWA debut jumping Aaron Williams as he came through the curtain for that Challenge Me series. Yes. Sh shocking a lot of people. Right. You know, who wasn't... A lot of people wasn't aware who Jason Kincaid was, but Good. after that match, he was pretty popular here in IWA Mid-South. Old friend of ours, Kerry Offal, said that... Uh, 
you know, Jason Kincaid and Sage was one of the matches he was looking forward to watching of this tournament. Oh yeah, carry off. Well, he's been in one of the Prince of the Death matches. He's uh, him and him and him and his partner Nick Iggy were and I at Team IOU back in two thousand. Right. What fourteen when we first came he said, to this area? He said Jason Kincaid, in his opinion, is the best unsigned talent in the entire multiverse because legit, no one is like him. And I said I agree with you a thousand percent. There is, there is no one in wrestling that do, does the things that Jason Kincaid does, like Jason Kincaid. There's no one that, that does it. You can't. It's like if you try to find, all you can do is watch tapes and try your best to, to no over, lock. over again because you're not going to get someone to go to the ring and be and for you to practice against the right. kid, that can it's imitate. years of, yes. of Mexico tours, of J uh, Japan tours, of staying in dojos, of driving up and down the road, of being in Ring of Honor, being in Evolve. Yes. And he's done these kind of matches for years and years. Takes and away years. the wrist. And Sage Phillips learned his. No, I know that Sage Phillips went to a uh, um, went to. I think he went to more than one. Oh, oh, he went. Did he go to a camp ran by John? Yes, Nation? yes, yes. It wasn't just like a two-hour seminar. Yeah, yeah. Nothing against those a either. Long which are camp, yeah. Yeah. Single leg takedown too. There was other guys there besides Gresham, but drop down, leapfrog, rolls through. through. Bipasso off the ropes. Mexican head oh. scissors takes him down. Roll. Kicks him up. Oh, kicks that arm out. You can definitely tell he has that Gresham influence right there. Right. But you know what? Look, here he goes. Going after the knuckles. Going after the wrist right at the elbow. Trying to bring that hand down. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, stomping. Again, Again at the wrist. What a sport right there. Oh, thigh kick to get him away. Keeps kicking at that arm. Oh, oh. that was a heavy one there. Another one. Those are stopping him. Those are stopping where he's not doing any retaliatory moves at that time, and he's about to defend Oh, him takes him down by the wrist. That's vintage Arn Anderson right there. Right. Takes him down, only a two. Uh oh. Sage almost complained about the count there, but it was a fair count if you ask me. Yeah. Another thing, though, me and you aren't in the ring sweating right there. So we don't have that same impression right. that they do. You know? I mean, we're sweating over here. We're sweating, sweating over here, here, but they got those heavy ring lights on. Yes, and they have the people cheering for them, and their their tournament life is on the line. So, oh, another one. Working over the arm. Wrenching on the arm once again. Oh! Oh, Sage is fired up. There he is. He's heated. Going for a, maybe a ripcord, maybe the unprettier. Oh, the hammerlock back suplex there. Still holding that arm, though. I went for that forearm, but he had missed. it countered. Oh. High kick. Oh, high kick to that bad arm. Oh, kick. He blocked some of it, but not enough. Oh, he hit the post. Face on that pole all coming around. He jerked that arm down, like I said, like a like a young Arn Anderson, but this time it was straight to the mat. He's got to beat him in the ring. Go for the cover.
Kincaid firing back. Oh, he's got that same arm again. He's going after the hands. Oh! Oh! If he can, if he can. For that dubstep. Oh, caught him with the neck breaker. Ten minutes gone in this match. Ten minutes gone. Oh, he chips him up. Pulls him out. He's holding that arm still. Oh, that oh. forearm. Yeah. You notice. Could be thinking that Masawa Son stomp. That's what he's The been flip over. Here. Flip over, double oh. foot stomp. Look at him, though. He was having trouble holding himself up. You see that? His arm was so bad. He had right, right. Legs all the way down. High five. Sage Phillips almost to his feet, though. To the he kids of the King of Merch style. Good. Going for that stun. Yada. Oh, he caught him. Oh, oh he. Oh, oh he. He, him up. he recovered. Even with him kicking his leg. Could be thinking ride the lightning. Oh, no. Oh, octopus. He's almost in the ropes, though. Oh, he's oh, so he close to the ropes. The ropes. Oh, Sage Phillips looked like he was hurting there. Kincaid stepping on the hand now. Oh, stomped on them fingers. Oh, oh, slap to the neck. I thought he kind of liked him before the match. Oh, no, oh. slapping the living crap out of each other. Uh oh. The cow comes off. Cow as in Baptist yes, cow. Yes, That's why I say that. Some people are like, what? Oh. C-O-W-L. Oh. Sage, known for those heavy hands. I don't know if a lot of people like know that or not. Yeah, he does. He's heavy-handed as fudge. Oh. oh. Oh, he went to grab that beard and throw a shot, but Kincaid beat him Oh, to standing it. Oh. clothesline. Oh, but he used Oh, wing attack. Standing oh, lariat. Box it. Back, oh, elbow. back elbow. Go for the rolling elbow. Uh -oh. German suplex. German on his head. Could be thinking Glimmering Warlock. Oh. He hit that shining wizard. Glimmering Warlock, low pay. I was getting ready to say he hit the Slings back elbow. in. Flatliner off the bottom. Oh. Right into the Koji clutch. Uh oh. What a sequence from Sage. Now I'll tell you what, a lot of better men would have tapped right there. That'd have been done. You could tell he chained those together, but look. Oh, oh, oh he's very oh, close he's to the ropes. His leg to get vantage so he can get to the ropes. His foot's so close. A little more. He oh, got it. there he goes. He's he got to break the it's hole. Okay, got the ring break. He's got to do five to break it. He had to struggle. He had to pull the knee and the the the, le the foot of Sage Phillips closer to that ropes in order to get that ring break. His arms jacked up. Uh -oh. Over that octopus again. He's going for it. He has to get that leg over the top of his head. Oh, he's got one arm down. I was gonna say it makes it a lot harder. Oh, he's able to dump him off the back door. Oh, wow! Side thr thrust kick right to the chest. Oh, oh he into the back. octopus. Octopus, middle of the ring. I don't know, man. He may have him. Oh, no. He's able to get free. Oh, two 
Tombstone! He's going up for it. Could be thinking that ring post, double foot stomp. Yes, he flies. No, oh, and gets all of it. A hundred percent. Kincaid gets him. No! Oh my goodness. Kicks out! Look at the look on Kincaid's face right now. Oh, spit in the face! Oh, pump kick. He's going for it again, perhaps. I think he's going for it again, or he's going for something different. We don't know. We're going to see. He's going for something different. Oh, oh. twisting! Double foot twisting, stomp! Double stomp! And he hit him with it. I haven't seen that since Joel Maximo. You know what I'm saying? Wow. wow.